we work together with the temple president and we set aside one Friday per month for all those recent, all the recent converts, all those who have been baptized within that preceding month or any time recently to, to attend the temple with their own family names. I'm a recent convert of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So I started doing family history before I was baptized. Since I was baptized about five months ago, I've taken about 60 names to the temple now. The missionaries encouraged me to go to the temple and it was such a special experience for me knowing that I was able to baptize my ancestors that day. Really was amazing. It brought so much joy to me that I could do that for them. Every convert who's gone to the temple within 30 days of their baptism, as I've gone, gone through and looked at those uh, individuals, they're still active, still going to church, still participating. Most of them have callings, the priesthood. Those who have been baptized a year, or mo most of them are now endowed in the temple and sealed for those who are married. And those who are not, they're, they're working toward to the temple as well and Melchizedek priesthood. It's been a powerful experience to see them excited to take names, their grandparents, their great-grandparents, in some instances, even their own children, uh, to the temple to be baptized, uh, to be confirmed, and, and, and then later sealed to them. The very first time I went to the temple, I was baptized in January 7th, or on January 7th. And so I went to the Houston temple January 27th, that same month. And it was awesome because I, I only took one name, and it was just, my grandfather's name. And growing up, I was very close to my grandpa. And there's a spiritual connection that you feel when it's your own family that's a little stronger. Obviously, the work is standard across the board, but when you, it's your own family names, those memories through the spirit of Elijah can come back to you. And for me, they did. The family history consultants work with the uh, full-time missionaries. The ward missionaries are also trained in how to use family search and help uh, new and new converts and recently returned members to, to find names to take to the temple. I was baptized about six weeks ago into the church. A moment that really stood out to me was my finding my first name. Like the people that kind of taught me and walked me through it were just so hands-on and knew exactly what they were doing and they're my age and it was just crazy. I thought that was something only older people did. And then as I started doing it, I'm just hooked. I love it and I was just so excited because I was like, I get to go to the temple for the first time and I get to go to Heavenly Father's house and it was the best moment ever. I think I ran around and hugged everybody. <laughs> I was so excited. To know that I can be like a missionary and I can do work for people that didn't have the opportunity whenever they were here. That's one thing that just keeps me so in love with the church. It's like I can keep my family together. Family history and missionary work. They go together quite simply, I think. The, 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 the simple answer is because they're one and the same. As we proclaim the gospel and preach the gospel to those here on this side of the veil so they can receive the saving ordinances, family history does the same thing. Family history enables us to help others receive, receive those same saving ordinances. And as they felt that love for their family, they felt the love for their Savior, and then their conversion has been deeper and I think firmer as they've gone to the temple with, with their own family names.